Well, today we're kind of shifting gears from what I was planning on doing. So I got a call from uh, this builder. They got to change something or do some more digging uh, on that footing over there to make the inspector happy. And I was supposed to come over here in a week or so anyway to dig the water line in. So I'm just going to dig that footing and go ahead and get this water line dug in. Uh, that's where it's going to go in the house, two feet below that blue dot. But we're going to run two lines, and one of them is going to be on the left for the uh, sprinkler system. And then it goes 400 feet from here all the way down to where that sign is at the end of the road. So I guess I'll just kind of follow his orange mark here and run about 10 or 15 feet to the left side of the road. And then the city's got a meter pit up there. I think with their pigtail or there's a board sticking up where they stop with theirs so we'll just dig ours up there to it i guess we're going to put the pipe in. we're going to do one inch pvc on both of them because like i said it's 400 feet long so i got dad on his way with some screening so we can bed the pipe in because there's nothing but big rock over here i think the price of pex was just ridiculous so we'll do uh two one inch schedule 40 pvc pipes now we'll put them in the same ditch and then like i said put I don't know, eight or ten inches of screenings around them and kind of bed them in with that and then we can backfill them and clean them up so well, let's get to it i'm trying the voiceover thing since i'm in the 216 i know my audio is not that great in there uh the worst part about it is i'm doing this at my house today and this job or video was done like a week ago <laughs> so i don't really remember what all i was trying to talk about but uh i guess we can just kind of go over the long and the short that blue dot is where they want the water line to come in. Of course, it's going to be, I think I put it in like 30 or 34 inches deep. And we ended up, I kind of talked to the builder. I tried to talk him into it earlier on, but uh, running the two inch line to the house. But there's a big expense. I believe right now here in southwest Missouri, uh, one inch schedule 40 PVC, I want to say is like, what they tell me 61 62 cents a foot and for the two inch is like a dollar more so it's quite a bit more expensive but uh my recommendation was that they needed to have a bigger water line to run 415 feet you know down a hill then back up a hill to this i think this house 35 3800 square feet so it's a pretty good sized house so they were going to want as much volume of water as they could possibly get so we did get switched. I think I showed that later on in the video. We put a two inch schedule 40 PVC for the house and then I ran inch and a quarter, uh, or they ran inch and a quarter for the sprinkler system line. And the reason that they do two lines here, uh, the sewer bill is based off uh, water usage per month. So if like, let's take my house for example, I got a 12 zone sprinkler system in my half acre yard. In the summertime, I will go through 70 to 80,000 gallons of water a month to keep my fescue green. So uh, I've got two meters as well. So, I mean, if you base your water usage off of 80,000 gallons of water a month, your sewer bill is going to be quite a bit more. <laughs> so you can actually run two meters here. And then in the wintertime, you can actually disconnect or shut that meter off uh, to the sprinkler system because you won't need it. And so that can kind of save you a little bit. And if there is a leak... Uh, on the water meter going to the house sometimes the water company will kind of give you a break on that but they will not give you a break on the sprinkler system meter so that's some of the reason here why people run the uh, two meters and stuff so, uh, let's see yeah, and then this area where we're going in is also where the backflow is going to be up in the landscaping to kind of hide that so that's why I ran the inch and a quarter on the left and the two inch on the right and then we bedded in with the screenings which is kind of like a lime sand or whatever here because as you'll see as the video goes this yard turns out to be extremely rocky like more rocky than normal this is kind of filmed over two days i don't even remember doing like my walk around after the fact i think i was uh that second day uh top notch was here in town working and i was having to run in some rock back and forth and i i don't know i had to be somewhere that evening or something i can't remember what was going on but I just kind of show you picking up the rocks and then uh, that's pretty much it so uh, <laughs> yeah the video just kind of ends later on but I do get the water line all put in there uh, bedded in and backfilled and then uh, the plumber will come in there at some point and 
or hook everything or this the water company will come in there at some point and hook everything up and then uh, they'll be good to go but at least yeah my part of it with the water line is now done
this rocky ditch dug so there were some boulders down here the last 70 feet i did talk the uh builder and the homeowner into running two inch which is on the right hand side for the house and then inch and a quarter for the sprinkler and the whole reasoning for that is it's uh 410 feet i believe from the house to where they're going to tie onto the meter so with two inch you can get a lot more volume of water uh to the house versus just running like one inch pipe i don't know what their water pressure is here but anytime you can add more to your volume then they can you know take a shower and be running the dishwasher or the washing machine and stuff at the same time it's just got kind of more of a reserve if you will of water going to the house than uh trying to push one inch line of water 400 and some odd feet to the house and then split up from there so volume is a big deal and i like that i don't know what the water pressure is here i mean i could if i went up to somebody's house i could fill up a five gallon bucket and uh time it and however many however quick it fills up that five gallon bucket in a minute it kind of gives you the uh psi per minute on uh water pressure but now uh, i've got them separated in there and the only reason i did the two inch on the right is because where it goes into the house uh it's actually needs to be on the right hand side and up there on the sprinkler part of it will turn left so i don't really like the lines being right up against each other or crossing one another that way for some reason there's ever an issue uh i just know from in my experience digging down and you're trying to fix one pipe and sometimes these guys will put another pipe touching it you've got to dig so much more of it out to be able to move the one over to fix it so i kind of like putting a little bit of distance between them and then uh, now i'm going to get in the loader and we all we call them screenings here they're just fines or like lime sand and bed these things in about 12 inches thick so i'll probably dump so much or so very often and then kind of get out and just pick the pipes up a little bit and try to get some of the uh screenings and stuff underneath there i could have dumped it in there first and then put the pipes but i'm running out of daylight we got a storm coming and dad and two of the guys from the builders stayed and helped glue the pipe and pull it in there which i appreciated <laughs> So now I'm going to just kind of jump in the loader quickly, like I said, and start bedding this thing in.